Oh, I didn't see you there. Come join me, won't you? Thank you. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm back. Thank you very much for participating once again. Uh, I am furthering my own particular musicianship by helping to self-define what I like about the music that I do. Uh, so there's been a few changes that I've done here. Can you spot them all? Um, in particular, there is a large QR code over there. You can probably see it if I move this out of the way. Can you scan that and see what it says? If you actually did hit that, then let me know what you actually get. Um, I'm going to try it myself, but this is all very experimental. This whole setup, this whole life, this amazing thing called life. I also recently got a new feature uh, in the form of lighting. Uh, I already have three lights that are working for me, strategically positioned, but now I've got a fourth. Voila. I love it. I love it so much. And it is minus 20 outside in rural Alberta, so I still haven't lit in a fire. Um, but I'm also trying to be a little bit more economical and ecological. I like the way the wood looks, and I got extra layers, so... I really don't want to have to use it if I don't have to. Um, I, I also, uh, wood supply, that's an issue. And, you know, trees, atmosphere carbon. Um, it's uh, something I've grown a little bit more cognizant of. Thankfully, sound energy actually isn't that much at all. Uh, and I'm also using LEDs here for my lights. So I'm trying to, you know, keep the budget, the energy budget really minimal. Um, and without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to some of the pedals that I've got on my pedal train. Basically the various gadgets that I've been amassing over the years and finally put together last year and have been tweaking with new bits and swapping things in and out so I can get the Adrian sound. So I'm going to be trying this out. Uh, I do have an iPad that's strategically located so you can actually get a different angle. We're going to give it a shot right now. You'll see my pedal train here. Uh, you'll see my nifty socks. Uh, you'll also see what I'm sitting on, the cajon here. And you'll also see my vocal stomp boxes. But I'm gonna not do the vocal stomp boxes yet. I think I'll save that for season two. Um, also, the cajon I'm sitting on with the foot pedal is so good. Like, oh, I've always wanted one of these. I've been waiting for like at least a couple of years. Um, and this is my second cajon. Uh, but I don't really want to introduce that either. I'm gonna do a whole thing on percussion later. So let's just focus on the pedal train, shall we? Pedals! Pedals, 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 pedals. Uh, I have been collecting pedals for quite some time, um, but I've also moved around, and they've come in and out of my life. Uh, I've never been able to organize it. Uh, I remember having to do little schematic diagrams just to keep things straight, because not only do you need the sound cord from the guitar to go through the pedals, but you also need to power the pedals with either 9 volt batteries, which is not economical, or a power supply. And then, of course, there is uh, which um, uh, sequence in which you place the pedals, because that has a huge effect. And there's a lot of debate about that. There's a lot of makes and models and uh, a lot of variations and variabilities. It could be a lot of fun, but it could be a big headache too. Um, friends will have different stuff that they can swap you with, trade or bring over, and then um, uh, sell and upgrade. And stuff gets stolen too. Uh, I've lost pedals and a guitar and a drum machine and a case and a microphone. Yeah, don't steal. Stealing sucks. Uh, when I moved out here, I knew that I wanted a particular sound um, and some basics. Uh, and in order for that to happen, I had to bring stuff from Toronto that I could, you know, just the bare necessities, and then expand. I'm gonna do a little brief introduction into all the pedals and then I'm gonna see if I can kind of combine them all in a jam at the very end. 
um, and kind of experiment with it. Um, this is all very experimental. We have to splice and edit, uh, but it's also a lot of fun, and I hope you have some fun too. After so many years, I finally managed to get all my pedals onto one rack. Um, before, they used to just be willy-nilly on the floor, and um, they're, it was so disorganized. I, I finally got uh, a pedal rack from Long & McQuaid with a power center here. Right, tucked in underneath, and that way I can turn them on and off and not have to worry about how they're positioned. Uh, most of these are connected with a Velcro, so they're not going to be moved around when I uh, kick them accidentally. Um, and they're placed in such a way that uh, gives me the kind of sounds and ease of use that I really need and want. Usually the first pedal that you get is a tuner. Uh, although with guitars you can also get one of those tuners that clip on here. I've had those, but they break or they run out of power and you gotta buy a new battery. And they're getting cheaper. You could use one if you want. This is my chromatic tuner by Boss. Because tuning is important. I like to tune my guitar in drop D. So there you can see D, D, D is the lowest note I can hit. And I usually cut out the tuning for the videos, but I want to show you exactly how it looks. It's not bad, hey? G, Jesus sucky. A, and D. Um, dad, dad. Usually it's uh, E, A, D, G, B, E, but I like dad, dad. A uh, cool thing also with the uh, tuner here is that it, it uh, can be daisy chained onto another one, so. You don't really lose a power outlet. Now that I've used the chromatic tuner, it sounds not so bad. Now the first thing that I really, really wanted when I was starting off to play guitar is to get the wall sound because I grew up in the 90s and I really liked that in my teenage years. A lot of uh, Guns N' Roses and grunge music, and a lot of it's got a wah. Classic rock in there, too. Not everyone likes a wah sound. Um, clean, it's okay. Distorted sounds really really good, uh, but we'll get into that in a, in a little bit now I do have a bass guitar and I love playing bass love me some bass But um, if I am playing on my own whether it's acoustic guitar or electric guitar I need some bottom end to that and so to give me that bottom end I use the super octave by boss <laughs> I don't want to oversaturate it. So just enough so you can hear a bit of low end. So it's uh, the electric guitar plus the bass. And again, it could be clean, it could be with distortion um, or overdrive, and that gives it the depth that I want. I usually keep it on. And then, of course, if you're going to be playing electric guitar, you're going to want it nice and loud. Well, you don't really have to, but I like it nice and loud. So um, with that, I got myself a turbo distortion by Boss, and then later, I want a bit more nuance. So for that reason, I have got an Ibanez uh, overdrive pedal. And uh, the overdrive gives it a little bit of a dirtiness to it, not so much of a full throttle metal type of sound like the uh, distortion. The settings can also be modulated. With these knobs over here. But I've got my particular settings just the way I like it, so I'm not going to tweak it. Um, there's the amount of input, there's the amount of output, and then there's the little EQ in the middle. Um, <laughs> Dirty up a bit. 
the uh, gearheads uh, amongst you out there will notice that uh, that's the uh, TS9 and it's been modified. Uh, I remember I bought it at the 12th fret in Toronto, close by where my old condo is. And uh, the guy behind the counter said, it's modified, are you okay with that? And I said, yeah, sure. I just needed an overdrive. I wanted to experiment with it. And I took a look on YouTube and sure enough, they swapped out, whoever modified this one, swapped out um, one of the resistors. So um, it's actually inside a TS, T, TS9, no, TS8, and outside is TS9. I developed my tone, my hearing for tone really, really late in the game of playing rock music and electric guitar, hard rock or metal or classic rock or prog or, you know, the stuff that I like. So I can't really hear the difference between the TS-8 and the TS-9, but I've got a TS-8 inside this TS-9 and I like how it sounds. Um, it's very different than the average distortion that I've been using for years and years. So, so you can uh, hear the difference between an overdrive, which is a more mellower uh, version of a distortion, by sampling the actual distortion pedal. <laughs> Of course, this turbo distortion also has its own particular settings that I've arranged it with the level, the tone, and the, the amount of distortion saturation in there. The keen among you will notice that this uh, turbo distortion is a DS2, so it actually has got two settings for distortion, and that's why I have this extra pedal over here, the FS5U, so I can give it that extra kick. <laughs> fantastic when you're doing a lead solo and you really want to make you want to stand out so when I really need to kick it I've got that turbo distortion and of course once in a while I got to tune up again so that's why I got this pedal but wait, there's more. There's another pedal in here, uh, the chorus pedal that I really like to use to color the sound. Um, it um, has a particular 90s feel too, especially if it's oversaturated, and that's the chorus pedal. Also has different settings. This is Wazacraft, so it's expensive <laughs> by Boss, and um, I can change the rate and the depth of the uh, warbling that it can create. Um, it's got also the original chorus, not the CE1W, but uh, sorry, the 2W, but the 1. And that, uh, a lot of people apparently really like that sound, so they built it in. It's a, an option. I 
because it warbles. Whoa, 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 whoa. Particularly good with the bass. After I've modulated the uh, kind of sounds that I want, whether it's going to be rough or not, or uh, edgy or not, uh, I have my latest acquisition. The Black Hole. The Black Hole essentially is a reverb pedal, and it's got different presets, which is pretty cool, and it's got six, six things you could tweak. So, lots of experimentation. Um, it just sucks having to always go down and, you know. So, um, I have one particular setting that I love. <laughs> Have some fun with it. Now, reverb is really cool. It's really, really nice. I love the reverb pedal. Um, it's my most recent acquisition. It's so variable, I could do lots. But um, I also wanted something separate and different. So I got myself a delay pedal as well. And I really like digital delay, not the uh, fake, uh, um, what's it called, analog delay. Because I've experimented with that and it has its distinct sound, but I'm not keen on it, so I like me some true digital delay. <laughs> setting on this one. It's also got a tap um, so I can change the amount it delays and the frequency but uh, I have to set it up and that could be a pain in the butt. <laughs>
amongst the last pedals I've got is a TC Electronic uh, Gravity pedal. It's a not a compressor, it's a compression pedal, and it brings out the really quiet notes, but I'm not that dynamic yet. I put it in a particular location so that when the signal goes through the amp to the mixer, it goes out to the My Pedal Train, and it goes back to the mixer, and then out again to that compressor, and then from the compressor it goes into my loop station. Now, the loop station is something that I've been playing with for a really long time, um, and they keep on getting better and better. This one is uh, simple yet complicated enough for me to experiment with, because I have been doing a lot of traveling and a lot of playing and have a lot of ideas I want to record, uh, and I don't have everything at my beck and call. That loop station is something that I like to use so I can jam with myself. So skipping over the TC Electronic um, uh, compress compression, I am going to play with the loop station, and it goes like this. And from there you could just layer and build on top. I remember going to the beach um, on Lake Ontario in Toronto and taking my portable 9 volt two separate speakers in stereo, one playing this loop and another one just having me jam. So that in a nutshell is uh, what I use to make my sound that I really like. It gives me so much variety. I'm gonna mix and match. Um, what are the pedals would I like? A fuzz pedal would be fun to experiment with. Um, it's a lot of uh, fuzz that was used in the late 90s. But uh, my particular sound I don't think really incorporates, or I, I, don't, I wouldn't use fuzz, I've got the overdrive, I'm happy with that. Um, I also have the variety of instruments too that I can play along with this. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't ever get bored and I play every day.
But there you go. That's how I use my pedal train. Um, it's connected. It's powered up. It uh, allows me to have a lot of fun. And more fun I will have. Uh, if you're into it, keep on watching because I'm going to be doing more of these.